Good morning. I am pleased to welcome you to this video. If this lesson is useful to you, you can subscribe the channel for more teaching videos. Heights by the Diary Sanayar, a poem analysis by Yogaraya Chulan. Outline, introduction to the poem, title of the poem, and the poem analysis. Introduction to the poem, they are the Sanayaka and for a number of social as well as environmental issues in this poem. While other poems in the syllabus are on war and its consequences, this poem highlights the adverse effects of urbanization and inequality in the society. The writer shows how nature has been affected due to the increased industries and population in cities. Title of the poem. The inanimate object kite has been a symbol in this poem, which awakes striking thoughts in readers' minds. Further, the title suggests play and entertainment. Also, it denotes a seasonal engagement and has been a popular free time activity of the children and youngsters in many parts of the island for many years. Poem analysis. The poem has been a description of an event that takes place in front of the speaker's eyes. The speaker witnesses a kite which flies above the beautiful landscape of a village. The diction's blue sky denotes the unpolluted sky for the view of the speaker. The sky is clear since it is blue in color. With the dictions multicolored, the writer describes a colorful kite which creates visual imagery in the reader's mind. Poem analysis continues. The verb flow in the poem has been written in the simple past tense. The writer describes a village as well as a polluted city in the poem. The kite flies over the green trees and golden paddy field. Here, the dictions green denotes the freshness as well as the unpolluted village environment. The writer mentions that the trees are with full of fruits, which shows the prosperity and the fertility of the trees and the soil itself. The diction golden brings visual imagery to the reader's minds, which again adds the value to the concept prosperity and the material fulfillment. The diction wave recall a good harvest one can witness in a typical Sri Lankan village. According to the speaker, a rich village scenery has been presented. In a way, it is parallel with the key characteristics of romantic era as it glorifies nature and the natural beauty of the village landscape. After the Industrial Revolution, glorification of nature became a key element in European English literature. Similarly, because of the urbanization and rapid development projects in Sri Lanka, attention on nature was gradually emerged in Sri Lankan's hearts. The poem can be an example of such outcome in Sri Lanka. Further, the ripening rice has been considered as a great source of wealth from ancient time in Sri Lanka. This symbolic value was originated as a part of feudalistic experience of people in the country. The diction scarred up denotes the great fear of people on the rapid invasion of urbanization and its adverse effects on nature and the traditional healthy lifestyle of the village people. With the above diction, the writer attempts to create the effects of personification in the poem as emotions of the speaker as well as the village folks are communicated through the responses of the ripening rice field. Through this, the writer attempts to create an alarming tone in the readers' minds. On the other hand, the writer educates the general public towards these upcoming dangers to the natural landscape of our other country. The writer brings the level of poverty in this poem through the image of a little boy who flies kite at the end. The diction ragged shorts explain that. Also, the writer brings the image of different social class through classes through the imagery of the little boy. 
The writer presents poverty as a social problem here. The boy enjoys his kite flying using the used items available in his immediate environments. This creates sympathy in the reader's minds. While the first half of the poem describes the scenery of a village, the second half of the poem pictures a polluted city environment. The diction's black acrid smoke describes how the city air has been polluted due to the functions of factories and increased use, use of public as well as private vehicles. The diction's rotting garbage emphasizes the poor waste management system in the city, which blocks the drainage system and makes flooding during the rainy season. The speaker sarcastically finds the faults on humans as they are the horses for the above mentioned environmental problems in the poem. The adjectives used in the poem to describe the condition of the cities create a, a polluted as well as sickening image of a city life in Sri Lanka. Model question, critically analyze the social as well as environmental issues presented in the poem Kite written by Daya Desangarika. You can have three sections, introduction, body, and convolution. Introduction can be written in one paragraph. For that, you can use three sentences. The first sentence, paraphrase the information in the question or provide a key historical information related to the keywords in the question. Second sentence, state how the writer treats the issues in the poem in one sentence. That will be your thesis statements. Third sentence, outline what you are to write in the body part of your answer. Body of the answer, divide your paragraphs according to your points. Keep one important point in one paragraph. Write the first sentence of each paragraph relevant to the question. That sentence should be very informative as well. The other sentences in the same paragraph will carry the detailed information of what your first or topic sentence there is. But for, for the body of the answer, use markers of sequence, results, emphasize, addition, reason, example, contrast, and comparison as much as possible in the text. For example, sequence, firstly, results as a result, emphasize particularly, these words you can use, addition, furthermore, reason, since, example, for example, such as contrast, however, or on the other hand, comparison, similarly, or compared to. However, always remember to be in the direction of the question in starting each paragraph. Some questions collect, some students collect the points for the body part before writing the answer. Some other students put a brief mind map of the answer before they start their writing. Conclusion, that, that is the third section. Write a paragraph of conclusion summarizing the points that you have used in your body part. Use expressions such as in conclusion, in summary, in a nutshell, to summarize and to conclude at the beginning of the conclusion paragraph. You can save your valuable time and earn good grades in the examination. Thank you.